Hey guys, welcome back to the Fremen Arm YouTube channel. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day getting yourselves back into another two minute technicals video looking at XRP. As we can see, things are definitely a little bit weird now. Essentially, you know, since the other day when Bitcoin decided just to fly up there, hitting almost $30,000, we can come over here on the BTC USD combo. You can see right there, smack dab hit that. 2618 they're at almost thirty thousand dollars on the dot you can see right now kind of going stagnant hold, trying to hold around that twenty eight thousand four hundred forty ah, a little bit below it at the moment but you can see it, it, it did overextend and it did hit the same precipice it hit here on october 2nd same here on 18th of september and here on, on august i mean next to uh what we see over here that happened in june but on par with almost every other single um, push to the upside. I mean, you could get that slightly push up higher. But I, I don't, I don't necessarily think that that is going to happen right now for BTC. You know, we 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 kind of anticipated some sort of move like that, but obviously not until later half of the month. But it is going a little stagnant at the moment. But we're not really interested in Bitcoin at the moment. We're more interested in XRP. So since we're more interested in that what is going on so obviously yesterday trying to get up there trying to get up to that uh we actually we, we we talked about hitting the target around that 702 getting to around 50 and 8 tenths to 50 and 5 tenths basically just right around that region between the 618 and the 702 if you guys remember that so we did get to it obviously just stupid early but uh an immediate rejection after all of all of them and you can see right now we're just barely holding on to a 20-day moving average zoom in a little bit more you can actually see that right here is a 20-day moving average and we're just hovering above it but you can see getting rejected by the 100 day 200 day and 50 day moving averages consecutively here and just kind of um holding on going sideways at that point so you can see here um we are having a little bit of a uh indication here on the rsi on the bottom side here you can see that we uh, flew up here, hit that 66. You know, this is what we've had over here for a long time as some sort of, you know, precipice turnaround point. And you can see flying up, hitting it, and now coming back down for support. But you can see here losing the 702 um, and the, the 618. And you can see coming back down here, smacking the longer term uh, moving average here for the RSI and uh, kind of negating itself and pushing itself down the only thing i can think of in this region is that we kind of have this ascending parallel channel coming out of a downtrend which would look more like this you know obviously i, I would have to use the the tool to show you more accurately but it, it looks more like this an ascending parallel channel and what you usually f do is use that width of that to measure your next move which looks like if it's going to be soon it'll be coming back down to 47 and a half cents uh, you know, by the time it decides to break down from that. So that, that that's just my thought process on that. Um, the only thing to note too is on the daily here, you can see we're just, we're kind of just trying doing it's doing the same sort of thing. Um, but the daily is showing the same thing here, rejecting at the 0.5, not able to get itself back above. You're going to want to see it break with conviction through here, or we're going to see it come back down here to 236, which shows you more pain to the downside, which is basically indicating pushing down to the 47.5, the 236 on this region, or uh, down here to the 45.8. Um, you're, you're losing a lot of momentum. You got rejected now twice, and this is your, um, we just opened today. Uh, unfortunately, right, uh, right on the bottom side of this trend, we're not getting a nice conviction, a nice push to the upside like we wanted to. Uh, well, we did, but we got an immediate rejection. So it just it seems that um, in lieu of this, we have more downside ahead of us uh, for the short term as opposed to um, you know getting at relief. Um, so we're just going to keep that in, in wraps. We're going to keep that on the back burner of what we think. Uh, it's definitely going to be an interesting, more volatile time to be a part of crypto. But we could also give ourselves, you could take some sort of line here. You can go across the top if you wanted to, just like this. You can see that it, it is adhering to something. And if you were to take the bottom half of this, you would be then zooming in, coming back. Uh, you take get rid of this line. We don't need this one. Um, when we don't. I kind of want some of those in there, but what we can do is we can keep the top side here, the bottom side here. You can see the max move we'll wind up getting out of this is another retest back up here again, basically within the next two, three days. Actually, no, I say next two days. I say tomorrow, maybe even. 
um, up there to around 57, uh, 50 and 7 tenths, or we're getting right back down there to 47.5. I mean, it, it seems more likely at this point to get that. If we cannot break through and we're condensing and, and losing on the RSI here uh, and the, the MACD just not looking great either, to, to, to push back to the downside and see that um, same sort of uh, retracement, doing some sort of double bottom here for a short term, but typically out of this this formation, you're seeing a rise, a ascending channel out of a out of a downtrend. Typically, results in a further uh, push down price, um, and then you're seeing a, basically um, out of this a, a flag forming out of a a trend like this as well. Out of a downtrend, you're still looking at some sort of retracement as well. So. What I'm going to hinge myself off of is just seeing how we wind up holding the region here around 48 and 5 tenths, 48 and 6 tenths. Um, if we start to actually break through with conviction, which is basically here at 48.4, because you can see it, it tried to wick through it a couple times. Um, it, it, it's pretty volatile immediately down to a 48.2, sorry, 47.2, 47.3. So, but that'll be the first target, and then the second target being down here to around 45.8. So. Just, just keeping it on wraps, looking at the RSI, seeing how we're reacting, seeing how the MACD is doing, how the volume's doing. Let's see if we can actually bring that up right now. Let's do that. Let's zoom out. Zoom, zoom, zoom. One second, guys. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Looking into the MACD here, you can see that, that we had that cre the, the nice green volumetric pressure pushing us to the high end. And right now, you can actually see the MACD is going to turn bearish. So you can see here we're about to cross bearish. We start to go into the negative territory. We're more so looking for the downside action on XRP at the moment. So and as you can see, it's just going to start. Um, we had a nice, a pretty long volumetric period compared to other ones. You can see over here how many days, you know, 24, four days. So now we're looking at this one. That was a long one, the last long period. And we actually had around the same time, four days. So we do have we do have that coming in momentarily uh, unless we can somehow bounce off and continue bullish you would have to see that come out of here and then we perhaps we could see you know the the retest back up to the, around that 53 55 reach site 52 9 to 54 7 region but we'd have to hold now but you'd have to get that sort of confirmation get a push above to uh, the 49 8 and then get that push back to you know the higher regions there but as you can see at the moment, everything's starting to pull itself back. Uh, things are starting to go sideways, and we're just condensing for our next move. And it looks like to me at the moment it's going to be another push down um, just based off of the cues we have. Um, the rejections off the RSIs, the MACD volumes going low, uh, and starting to turn more uh, just bearish. Um you know, obviously it was a nice day to see Bitcoin go absolutely bonkers and see, you know, us up 10% in one day. But as you guys know, it was just a liquidity grab and it all came back the instant it, 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 it arrived. But let's just see how it goes. You guys have my thoughts on what's going to be happening, my thoughts on what's going on. Hope you guys are having a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for tuning in and hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.